to follow up on that, a question I've, I've always wanted to ask you. So I'm part of the subset of Canadians that looks forward to the World Juniors more than anything in the holiday season. And I imagine that <laughs> subset's got to be at least a million people large. How does it feel to be able to be a part of so many Canadians' holiday traditions um, and to be part of the group that made the World Juniors into the national phenomenon that it is today? So, Kyle, I'm going to age myself here. So don't you be chuckling, okay? But in 1977, Christmas Day of 1977, it was the 1978 World Junior Championship. Now, I was young. I, 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 wasn't even a, I wasn't even a teenager yet. Maybe I was 13. And so my dad was running Central Scouting, for the National Hockey League Central Scouting. So on Christmas Day, we did our Christmas stuff. And then that afternoon, Team Canada was playing the former Czechoslovakia. And Wayne Gretzky put on a show. <laughs> so I think back, you know, to, to that game specifically and just being young and, you know, watching and being wide-eyed. You know, people had been talking about Wayne Gretzky, but to see him live. And I, I remember coming back that evening and going to the outdoor rinks and telling all my friends, uh, you should have seen this move Wayne Gretzky pulled in the game and showing them and, and, and everything that went with it. My father you know, in, in hockey and scouting and everything that he did was always away at Christmas. So for me, the World Junior was just kind of synonymous. We'd celebrate Christmas, you know, before he left and do everything we did. And then he would go away. And as it started to come, and I was lucky. I got to see games at different points in time live. But when it came, you know, really became uh, something where nationally it was on, it was on your television set. And then it got built up and everything. And Going there as part of hockey management was was always fun and enjoyable. Now to do it as part of the media, it, it it's it's every bit as enjoyable, if not a little bit more, because you, you start to connect with the with with the different people that appreciate being able to watch the World Junior Tournament. And I always say this: if you want to watch tomorrow's NHL stars today, you know, come and watch. Uh, CHL hockey, OHL hockey, go to the Quebec League, go to the Western Hockey League, come to the World Junior. These are the NHL stars of tomorrow. And, you know, it, it, it fits nicely. You know, you know, you have Christmas that starts on Boxing Day, the 26th of December, it ends on January 5th, the schedule's all set up, right? And everybody kind of in the, in the warmth of their house and huddled with their family and friends, you know, it does become something special. And in a lot of cases, it's the first glimpse at, at, at these, at these, Players that are going to be stars. We might not know. Sure, we know Connor Bedard, and sure we we we, we know Adam Fantilli, and, and 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 yes, we know Shane Wright, and we know Brennan Othman. But there's a lot of other players that are going to uh, be seen and are going to have an opportunity to show their fan base. You know, here's every reason to be excited. So to be part of that is, is really special because again, you go there as management, you're watching, you're evaluating, you're around. But in the me, I mean, it's just you, you just it, it's unbelievable the intensity of it, and I think that you know it, it is a Christmas tradition, and I think that having it back on a normal cycle with the fans and the communities involved is really really special and something I'm looking forward to in a big way.